Hey, how's it going everybody? Just wanted to show you how one of our monster flies fits onto the Yobo Gear Cricket Stand. We've got these two lines, two legs of a line. It's actually the same piece of cord which attaches down there, runs up, just simply wraps around the tip of the pole underneath the tarp, and then runs all the way down back down to the other side where it's attached with a loop of shock cord and a cord lock. And this line here is for tarp. It runs out to the corner here. And obviously we have the internal pull mod installed. And if you take a look up under here, you can actually see there is an internal ridge line which is attached to a loop of shock cord, which is this right here. And that is what keeps these poles in tension before you put the tarp on, which makes it way easier to put the tarp on and take it off. Right here in the middle, you can see we just have a small section of cord, which has been tied on with a clove hitch and two half hitches as close to the top as possible. And then once all the tension is taken out, it comes to rest about right here, which is, you know, about like so, for reference. And it's the same sort of thing really all the way around. We also have a loop of shock cord here, which is got a line lock or tension lock hook, I should say. Uh, clipped onto the door, so that's how that works. Get a good idea. And these lines here have two tension lock hooks on them, like that. Run up here, you can see the same. And it's the same thing all the way around. With it set up like this, it is possible for you to pick the entire stand up with the hammock on it, the tarp on it, and all, and move it wherever you want. Um, you're not tied down to anything. All of the, the lines and everything for the tarp are connected to the stand itself. Um, so there's, there's really nothing for you to have to worry about uh, detaching if you chose to move camp. You just pick the stand up and walk it to wherever you want it to go. You can see the corner reinforcement patches. It's a little bit dirty because it's been sitting out here for a little while. Stitch work, Hyper D300 PU coated on the back side and uh, DWR coated on the front side. Highly waterproof. And a nice 1.1 ounce Sil Poly with a ripstop grid in it. This stuff is awesome. And the ridge line seam, as you can see there, is a top-stitched French seam, which is a very strong seam. It's about 300% the strength of the fabric. So, there you go, guys. That's a quick look at how the Monster Fly fits onto the Yobo Gear Cricket Stand. And just in case anybody's confused about the pull mod, the tips just clip into an extra half-inch BCD ring on the center body tie-outs. And if we come up under here, we can see how the pole attaches. It just buckles together right there and clips to the ridge line. And this is adjustable on Prusix. Just a little micro buckle and uh, two loops of shock cord Prusix on, one to the pole and one to the internal ridge line. And this is super nice because you can also hang stuff up under here on this internal ridge line as well. Give you some more storage space. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Check it out. I collapsed it because of the way that I got out, but it's really easy to fix. Just, just like that on the one side. And come over to the other side. Same deal, just readjust that pole so it is where it's supposed to be. And if a line happens to come undone like it did just here, 
And I'm even doing this one-handed so you guys can really see just how easy of an operation everything really is. So there you go, guys. That's a quick look at the Monster Fly pitched on the Yobo Gear Cricket Stand. Thanks, everyone.